Hey everyone, Ezer here, and in this video we're going to be talking about the Games of Gold of August 2019. First and foremost, uh, Xbox One is going to be Gears of War 4 right off the bat, which is awesome. This is a really big title, it was a really big thing. I really like the Gears franchise overall. I'm not the biggest fan of over-the-shoulder shooters or shooters in general, um, but I really like Gears. I don't know why, I just have always liked it a lot. That being said, I think I played a little bit of a too much of three, <laughs> and so when four came out, I kind of I kind of passed on it. I don't even think I beat the story to be honest. But um, regardless, really excited to be able to get this to go again. Uh, one of my buddies owned it, and then I lost it, so uh, really excited to be able to play this again. So, what's your favorite weapon in it? Um, there's a lot of really weird ones, a lot of really fun ones. My favorite one was always the drop shot. I, I was so good at that thing when the demo came out that it was it was ridiculous. But uh, what's your favorite weapon? Let me know in the comments down below. Next up for Xbox One is going to be, for the second half of the month, will be Forza 6. Forza games are always really good uh, as far as racing goes. I actually, I don't like racing at all, as I've said in multiple videos, but I always liked Forza. So it's not Forza Horizons, it's not an open world one, but uh, it's just a racing simulator and I've always liked Forza. So I'll probably play that one a little bit, not too much. I'll probably still be playing Gears to be honest. Next up, first half of the month for Xbox 360 will be Torchlight. This is a dungeon crawler of sorts. Um, it had a little bit of a, its own flair, I guess you could say. So it's not like a clone of like Diablo or uh, uh, Titan's Quest or any of the other ones, um, Path of Exile, stuff like that. But in the end, it really kind of was its own little thing. It had a nice little story, a little bit of played of it. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I'm actually really excited to be able to. I, I forgot all about this game, so I'm excited for that to be backwards compatible and I'll be able to play it again. So pick that one up. It's going to be really fun. All right, to finish off the month for Xbox 360 will be Castlevania Lords of Shadow. This is a great, great game. I really, really enjoyed it. It's kind of hard towards the end, but that's how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to be able to just get better and better and better. It's a hack and slash, uh, kind of like Devil May Cry, but with Castlevania. It's supposed to be really, really good. I've never actually beaten it. I'm a completionist, so I went through and I think I have uh, the first like three or four chapters, 100%. I can't. Uh, I got everything for them, and then I was going through on the fifth chapter, and that's where I stopped, just because it was so difficult and so tedious. But that's how I play, so it was, it was a lot of fun. It just wasn't, at the time, something that I wanted to put all of my effort into, because I was just I was stuck on one stage. I couldn't get 100% on it, but either way, I'm going to go through it again. I'm going to go play it again. Really excited for this one. And there you have it. Those are going to be the games overall. Uh, let me know what you guys are excited for. I think this is actually a really good month. I think the only month that actually topped this one in recent memory was last month, where I didn't do a video on that. But more, more on that here in a little bit. So let me know what you guys think about these games. Um, if you're excited about them, if you're not excited about them, um, what, you, what you're going to be playing, if you're going to be playing any of them. Are you going to be, be playing Gears? Uh, it's four-player co-op online. Let me know uh, if you want to play, because I'm always down for playing Gears with people. Even if it's multiplayer, I don't care. It'll be, it'll be fun for a little while. Alright, so on to the uh, YouTube hiatus that I've been on and kind of what's been going on with um, the channel and really kind of what's going to be going on with my life. Nothing super drastic. Oh, I'm still here. Uh, not, not, nothing bad. Uh, just really bad timing is the best way to say it. June was chaotic, to say the least. I really didn't get much time to play video games. A, a very, very little, in fact. And that's just because between work, uh, just how chaotic it's been. Um, we built a garden, like we built two raised garden beds and uh, adjusted the garden we had and really kind of just went to town on cleaning a lot of stuff up, so we've been spending a lot of time outside. We got new bikes, the wife and I did, so we've been going on bike rides a lot more. Just kind of enjoying summer and whole, you know what I mean? So as that being said, all of my free time is doing kind of this other stuff, this real life stuff that I haven't been playing games all that much, and that's just, that's how it works. And I'm a video game channel, <laughs> so I need to play video games in order to get footage for my channel. You know what? Does that make sense? Uh, e either way, I'm back. Uh, everything's kind of cal calming down now as far as everything goes, so uh, it'll get hectic again next month, but that's only work-wise. Otherwise, we're pretty much wrapping most of the stuff up. We're still doing some bike rides. We're still doing some stuff, but a little more free time. With that, I've also been playing uh, Final Fantasy XIV. That came up with a recent expansion, uh, Shadowbringers, and I've really enjoyed it. It's an MMO and it, those always sync up, those just eat up a lot of time in general and it's one of my favorite ones by far. That being said, I bought the three month subscription as well as the expansion and my three month subscription I think runs out at the, to the end of August or to the beginning of September. So 
I will be back much more in force when this is done. I'm kind of just trying to get all my value out of this, just because it was a birthday present, and I really, I really enjoyed it. But I don't think going forward it's going to be something I'll play long term again. It just, it was really fun because it was so different, and I just, it was, I loved it. I still love it. It's just not really what I want to do long term. But don't worry, I'm not going to make 14 content anymore. I'm not going to switch gears or genres or anything like that. No, I'm not. Uh, my computer would blow up at the thought of just trying that, to be honest. So I'm just going to skip that entirely. <laughs> just stick to the Xbox that I'm good with, everything like that. So I will be getting more videos up. I think I'm going to probably end up going through Torchlight just because I've never finished that one, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. So I should have some videos on that coming out sometime this month. Might be a little bit longer than anything else. Um, I'll probably also do Castlevania guides for 100%ing the ones that I've done so far, just for the simple sake of it'll be fun to play that game again and kind of go into details of that, so that might end up getting a pretty good ambition, uh, a fire lit into me to actually beat that game, so that's about all I got, so uh, sorry for the hiatus, uh, I will be back more often, I will be doing more videos, I swear to you I will, if, uh, if that's your jam, if you're just kind of here for all the other guides, hey, don't worry about it, I... Hopefully you found everything you needed for other information. Sorry for a little hiatus, but uh, I'm back. That's all I got, everyone. So thank you all for watching. I've been easy. Until next time, keep your story going.